Hey Guardians, this is Coltrans and Acrostics Gaming. I am bringing you the second video in my Prismatic startup. Obviously these builds are still early stages. We've still got stuff to come out that could change these builds significantly. So this is just me having a little bit of fun. Uh, next week, harder content will start with these builds, putting them through a complete test and run through. Um, this build um, that I'm doing um, on the Titan, I like a lot of gunplay um, and a good mix of abilities. I'm not one to spam abilities like um, Banner of War with the 1-2 punch, um, Grapple Punch, Shotgun, Grapple Punch, Shotgun. That's just not me. I just like to play a balanced game. Um, I like to punch a lot as a Titan. Uh, it's what we are known for, us Crown Eaters, even though I'm a Warlock main. I spent two years almost solidly playing with a Titan as a main. So um, I still get a lot of fun out of it. But um, this Prismatic with this Titan, I absolutely loved. And we will jump into it. Um, so with this Hammer of Soul, I haven't used this for a very long time. Um, I used to love Hammer of Soul. There's something godlike about using it. Um, with this, um, I just wanted to create as much fire and carnage as possible. Um, throwing hammers and punching stuff. Um, that is what I like to do as a Titan. Um, or being um, a stasis beast. Um, so I'm using the thrusters because I don't really use my barricade shields. I'll hit the thrusters just to get a light spike on my melee um, ability, giving that a bit of a quick comeback or quicker comeback. Strafe lift, I like using this. Um, Maneuverability is absolutely amazing. It's a good all-rounder. Frenzy blade. Um, I like this one for this build because it is three of these you're going to get and you get the sever with it as well, which will turn anything you defeat into a tangle. Um, I like using the Frenzy Blade with the aspect coming up. Uh, Pulse Grenade, one of my favourite all-time grenades for a Titan. And uh, our Titans were my thing for a long time. Um, then they just got super weak. So using the Pulse Grenade again with this, I absolutely love it. And um, I just find it does a lot of damage. So we're going to go for the Knockout. And the reason we're going to be doing that, um, you're going to be getting an increase... Um, damage and um, melee range when you critically wound a target or break um, shields and also defeating targets with melee attacks makes you amplified you'll also get health return as well um, so that is the first stage of my punch to death titan consecration we're going to be going for this because um, we have three of the frenzy blades so you'll get three consecrations if you want to use it that way so when you surge forward, you will scorch, and then when you come down, you will ignite anything that you have scorched. So we're going to be using that, and having Radiant and everything else that procs with this is going to be absolutely fantastic, and it is great for Unstoppable Champions. Um, scorching them, then igniting them will stun them, which would be absolutely awesome. And the... Um, area of effect with that is really good and with the weapon I'm using we're going to be getting lots of solar explosions plus we're going to be getting lots of arc and with knockout you're going to be getting lots of arc too so facet of dawn we're going to be doing this so that we get um, radiant we're going to be using the facet of mending because um, grenade final blows cure you and then when you transcend and it clues your allies as well we're going to be using balance so you're going to be um, getting melee energy back when you're doing light damage facet of blessing melee final blows start health regeneration and while you're transcendent you get health generation for you and your allies so we're going to be going for a lot of health regen um, really important with this because we're going to be getting up close and personal the way i like to play a titan then facet of purpose you're going to be picking up an all power grants either um, any one of your buffs so uh, for this one, I really want the restoration. Um, obviously, another health return comeback. Um, I hadn't fully set up my mods on my Titan when I first started doing this video. Um, but now I've got it fully set. It's kind of average on the uh, returns, but my strength, because I used to be grenade-centric, is still really low, but it doesn't matter. The way this Titan punches, you don't really need a comeback, because you've always got a punch that's going to do some damage. Um, if you look at the mod customization, you can see a stacks mod there. Um, 
remove that and put anything else in there. It was just um, hanging about because sometimes I'll have a little switcheroo with my characters or with the artifact mods. Um, but Shield Crush um, is what I really like here. Amplified or Radiant, your grenade recharges faster and deals increased damage. Uh, we're always going to have Radiant there and also we're going to be Amplified most of the time as well. Super fast running Punching Titan, that is what this is. So when you look at the No Hesitation, most important thing for me with this for this build is Grave Robber, melee final blows, or dealing damage with a charged melee reloads as weapons magazines from reserve. You're going to see that coming up. I will be using this weapon, and um, you will see me do the charged melee from my Consecration, and then just watch the uh, the magazine refill. Um, I really like this weapon. Um, like I said, I like a lot of gunplay with the Titan. I like being up close and personal. Um, the only reason I haven't done Behemoth, um, which is one of my favourite Titans, is because I just find it screws everything for everyone that you're running with. So you can see here, bam, straight up to 44, um, which is really cool. It uh, enables me to turn, run, shoot. Um, the way this Titan is set up is if I do run out of my charge melees, I'll be sending in one melee. Um, and my second melee will rock out on the knockout and I will start getting arc melees um, which I can punch and get myself um, running out and becoming amplified. Um, then I have grenades um, storming in that's going to proc all of that so you can see on the side of the screen I mean there's a lot of stuff that I'm popping up on this and I'm getting a lot of knockout. Um, going on, so you think you pop your super, you've got knockout running, you suddenly drop dead on your super. <laughs> you know, adds around you, you can just swing a punch in there, and you've got an arc melee um, that does damage. Plus, with the exotic that I'm running, the Worm God Caress, um, you are going to see in a minute. Um, you get the burning fists. So the more melees, the more that charges, the more that charges, the full. Um, you are going to get um, a hell of a lot more power behind those punches. So you can be able to punch through a whole wave of ads. Um, so you can see it here. Defeating a target with melee or a finisher grants escalating melee damage, which decays over time. Higher levels of burning fists grants increased weapon damage. So you can see there, I'm going to be getting increased melee and increased weapon damage. So synergizing that with um, using all the restoration and everything I've got and melee damage. So upped, upped restoration and recovery and I'm going to be upping that damage. Um, especially when I'm running a fire team and we're going hell for leather. We are putting out damage, we are recovering and it's quite a nice mix. Um, this is probably um, my favourite way to use this Titan. Obviously, this is an ugly little mess here because I was just doing it just that you can see what's going on, just that you can see what I can keep prop it, procking in a small area. But you can see Radiant I've got going, Knockout is going, and even though the three, four seconds at a time, four seconds is a relative amount of time for me to be able to proc it again. So you can see I've got that. I'm out of that now, um, and I can just start weighing in with fists. Um, and it does what it says. I mean, it's like bang, bang, <laughs> bang. Um, you've got arc. You you've got arc. You've got um, strand, and we have got solar gang on for melee. Um, that's why I've done this build with the uh, worm gods. The cool, absolutely solid sidearm. It's probably going to be in just about every video at the moment. Um, I'm going to be doing a video with indebted kindness and this, and rocking out that ammo to keep it going. But golden tricorn and uh, bipod is what I like to run with. Everyone has their preference. And um, the other thing with worm gods is using it with a glaive. It is absolutely savage with a glaive. Um, you can see here. Okay, bang, I'm taking a bit of a kicking, and then I will just weigh in with that glaive. Um, and you'll see the more I proc on the side, the, the harder it is to take me down. But even when I'm just going up against the um, the bigger, tougher characters, I can just keep going in, turn, hit a smaller rad. I'm doing it. Um, I really like this build. Um, I'm not really a glaive runner. Um, but for shits and giggles, I'll probably run a glaive through some of the harder content. Uh, use more abilities to take on champions and probably use... 
the call. <laughs> it's take on unstops. I'll work out everything else as I get to it. But um, yeah, a lot of fun running this last mission with the glaive. Um, uh, just glad I've got this footage in, just so that you can see the burning fists. Um, any you know glaives probably know this, um, but for all you new players, Worm God works great with glaives. And like I said, it's all about that restoration. And because we're going to be getting that whole um, melee system running, um, you can proc your Radiant, your Restoration. Um, you can also bring back your uh, Amplified. You can see there, Amplified is up again. And it's just a constant um, ass kicking that you're laying out. Um, the other thing with this build as well, um, it is a build that needs to be played aggressively. You do need to be running in, you do need to be punching. Um, don't be scared of missing the odd punch. <laughs> don't be scared of throwing a pulse grenade too close to yourself because as long as you've got something to hit, you're going to be regenning. Um, throwing your super out on top of everything that you're doing with everything that you've got set up mod-wise, you're going to be dropping a lot of orbs as well. Um, I've set up orbs for recovery and I've also set up orbs for um, everything else. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoy this build. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a hunter build on Tuesday um, and I will be bringing you more um, from the next week. So obviously there's going to be a little bit more coming out with that um, the new exotic piece coming out where you can um, have different roll perks on it. Um, we'll be covering that more with these builds. And um, don't forget that like and subscribe. Um, your support is wonderful. And I will see you in the next video.